in your health, imagine not having to search for flu vaccine or struggle to manage a chronic illness. Those are among the challenges they're trying to work to solve at the U Albany Nanotechnology College. And with a new hire, the school just took a major step forward in reaching those and many other goals that could reshape our health care. There's a science fiction feel to the clean rooms at the College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering. They're kept pristine to avoid any contamination of the microchips on which millions of bits of information are imprinted. But what if there was a way to marry the electronics behind these windows with biology? What would that mean for people? Improve their health on a daily basis and improve their health and longevity over the course of many years. Dr. Sarah Brenner is the first physician hired at the College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering. In fact, she's the first physician hired at any such facility. With her background in public health, Dr. Brenner is heading research into how to apply nanotechnology to medical, health, and environmental safety issues. It's work that might lead to specialized sensors that can quickly and painlessly diagnose and track illness. We can gather information uh, about chronic disease states, different parameters um, in blood, like glucose for diabetics, for example, um, right up to more immediate acute conditions like a, like a virus, like a flu um, infection. So you might know if you've been infected with flu before you have symptoms. Other projects aim to develop more targeted cancer treatments so the drug will kill the tumor but not affect the rest of your body. Vaccines could be made more effective and perhaps end the need for needles. The potential is limitless. But first, they've got to figure out how to marry the wet, as biologic information is called, to the dry, the electronics, these data wafers. The work is happening on a level so tiny, specialized microscopes are needed. How tiny is this really? How magnified is that? Because it's not really that big. No, it's uh, 13 microns across. So I've never seen it. One micron is one millionth of a meter. So small, it's almost hard to understand. They can get it magnified enough to see and then manage it to help improve our health and safety. If you'd like to learn more about the work, Dr. Brenner will be speaking on Monday, the uh, 12th of, no of November, and that's from 6.30 to 7.30 at the Nano Science College. It's free and open to the public. Just go to our website, wnyt.com, for the link.